All right, guys. Uh, Miles here from Black Box. Just going to talk a little bit today about barbell maintenance. Um, what have we got? We've got a Belfast Ladies Bar that we've just taken out of uh, the container here. So it's been in storage outside for three to four months now, and it's got a little bit of chalk from the gym on it, and a, a little bit of sort of initial signs of rust coming through. So. Yeah, for barbell maintenance, you basically need three things. Um, we need a lubricant of some description. Um, three in one oil works really well. Um, today we're going to use a little bit of WD-40 just because we have it in the, in the workshop. Um, next thing you need is a good brush. Uh, you know, you can often get a, a metal brush, um, works really well. A strong nylon bristled brush works really well also. Or Today what we're going to use is the hybrid 360 barbell brush and um, we'll talk a little bit more about that in a few minutes. Um, and then the last couple of pieces you'll need, you'll need uh, some Ceraclips if you're going to do some deep maintenance and you'll need a rag just to clean off any excess. So okay, um, when well, you're going to choose a brush then for the Belfast bars because they're zinc coated. We're going to want to use a nylon brush as much as possible. Um, reason being, if you use a metal brush, it can take off a little bit of your bar coat, especially if you have a Cerakote bar or a zinc coated bar or any other kind of finish on your bar. You want to be kind of protecting it from the scores of the brush. Um, yeah, so Initial sort of daily maintenance, we would recommend brushing the bar after you get any chalk in it, after use. You know, if you think about chalk for your hands, when you chalk up your hands, what you want the chalk to do is absorb the moisture. So if you leave uh, chalk on your barbell, you're actually just asking your bar to gather more moisture in, which is going to increase the rate of any rusting on your bar. Um, so after every use on the bar, we would recommend Simply just a quick brush down. Just turn the bar as you go. That's just a quick dry brush of the bar to take off any chalk. Um, on a sort of monthly basis then, um, we would maybe recommend, yeah, just adding that lubricant to the bar. You don't need too much on. You can rub that in, just let that sit for a couple of minutes. Same thing goes on the, on the sleeves of your bar. You want to look after them as well. So even though there might not be dust on them, the same protocol applies. Quick dry brush down, get off any of the big bits of dirt. And then just apply a bit of the lubricant. Get that the whole way around. Probably by the time you've done that, we can come back to this one. Give that a bit more of a thorough brush. Um, one thing is if you, where the, the metal brush does come into play, if you have like one or two little tricky spots of just slight pitted rust, you can just use those really strong bristles to get in there and, and take care of those bits. see on this bar she's got a little bit of glue stuck in here who knows what that came from but I'm um, just going to use the metal brush to take care of that a 
as well as get right in that corner. Yeah, so that's your basic maintenance of the barbell shaft and sleeves. So the hybrid 360 barbell brush, um, you can get these in a nylon or a steel bristle brush, um, really good for cleaning your barbells. Essentially the speciality of this brush is just that it matches the palm of your hand and can curve in around the barbell, allowing you to get as much coverage as possible and also if you have cleaned a barbell before or you're using a nail brush or even a, a metal bristle brush like this, you can sometimes catch your knuckles on the knurl a little bit, which gives you a little, little bit of bite. Okay. So once you've got your shaft and your sleeve all cleaned up, um, a little bit of deeper barbell maintenance that we'd be maybe recommending sort of once a year. Um, once every six months if you're a really heavy user and you find the bearings are just getting a little bit stuck. Um, we're gonna take off the sleeve uh, and clean down inside. Um, before you start, uh, top tip on this one would be get yourself a squat rack and just make sure that the bar is up at a reasonable working height. I can save you a lot of time messing around on the floor. So with the Cereclips, we're gonna come in. Fourth time lucky, remove the first clip ring, set that down on our box. Then sometimes the, uh, the end caps can get a little bit stuck in there, but if you have a magnet on hand, you can pull them out or just get your fingernails in there. So clip, end cap, and then we're getting the second serra clip inside the barbell. And that guy comes out. So make sure you just set these all down in order so you can put them back on properly. So from here, what you'd want to do then is gently push the sleeve back, get the spacer out, and then again, just back another few mil. That's going to bring you this second spacer, which is a couple of half circles there, and those guys come out. So from there, you're going to move the sleeve back this way, and this time it's going to come all the way off. Okay. So looking at this, you know, the bar was still spinning pretty good, not too bad at all. But what you might find is just a little bit of corrosion in there, and um, depending on the age of your bar, or a little bit of gunk, a little bit of muck, that you just basically wanna clean down in the same way. If you need to use your brush, you can use your brush. Um, generally speaking though, a rag should be enough to do the trick. You just want to make sure you get all up in the bar, get that little brass bushing all cleaned out. Clean down each of these spacers as well, so we're not putting any bad stuff back in there. Okay, back to your lubricant. Just going to want a little bit on this. Um, 
in probably two specific spots. We don't need to do the whole thing, that would be overkill. We just want it to be roughly where the bearings and the bushings are gonna sit at the end of each bar. You're just gonna make sure that's nicely coated there. You can get your sleeve. Slide that guy back on. Push it all the way through so you're exposing that little bit of an end. You're gonna take your two half moons. Those guys fitted. Bring it forward a little bit. Big spacer. And you're gonna come all the way forward as far as it'll go. That's where you're gonna take your second clip. I want to make sure you get that guy right in there. There's, there's two grooves in there. You want to make sure you get it into the second one. That should snap into place and you'll know it's, you'll know when it's right. You can double check that bar sleeve is locked in. Put the end cap back in. And your outer clip for the bar. And again, just make sure that's in the groove the whole way around. That's spinning quite nice. So yeah, just to recap then, um, daily maintenance of the bar. We wanna get that chalk off there. Don't leave chalk sitting on your barbells. Nylon brush will do that perfectly. Monthly maintenance, we're looking for dry brush oil, leave the oil to sit for a minute, brush all that off again, and then wipe it down. Then probably your six month or annual maintenance, you're gonna take these sleeves off, you're gonna wipe them down, you're gonna grease up just where the bearings are, put it all back together, and get your barbell running smooth.